So as soon as this project loads, here we can see the loading indicator. And after one and a half second, till the time of our API response, it shows some loading spinner. And then here we have our products. To create this mini e-commerce application, I have utilized a sync and await in JavaScript. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 46th video of real world JavaScript. So here we are grabbing our HTML elements. And then here we have product and the cart array. So first we are making a call to our init function. And here is the function definition for that. Here we are adding this async to later use this await here. So here we have await load products and it ensures that products are fully loaded before setting up the UI. Also here we are doing this proper error handling with the help of try and catch blocks. And then here we have this load product function and here we are doing some intentional delay for the API simulation. Sometimes it takes time to load the data from the API. So here we are setting up the delay of this uh, one and a half second as we are using here this promise. So in the resolve, we are sending this whole object where we have our products until the time of our products load. We are showing the loading spinner and here we are also utilizing this try and catch block. And then here we have the cleanup inside of our finally block. And when you will go through the whole code, then you will understand that I am utilizing async and await throughout this mini project. And the purpose behind setting up all this is how async await creates a cleaner and more readable way to handle asynchronous operations compared to the callbacks or promise chain. Okay, so this was the whole overview of the code. In case you need this code, then GitHub repository link is present inside the description of this video.